is WFTV Tonight. New tonight, the state of Florida is facing the first lawsuit over its changes to Reedy Creek since that news broke. Good evening, I'm Greg Warmoth. And I'm Martha Sagowski. A group of Osceola and Orange County residents is claiming in federal court that Florida is unfairly and illegally burdening them with extra taxes by disbanding Disney's special district. Here's how we got to this point. Disney CEO Bob Chappick first criticized the parental rights and education bill on Friday, March 11th. Governor DeSantis first brought up the idea of stripping away Reedy Creek on March 31st. On April 20th and 21st, the state Senate and House agreed with the governor voting to end the special district. It's important to note, no actual changes would take effect until June 1st, 2023, assuming nothing changes between now and then. Nick Pavatonis is live for us in Orange County. And Nick, you spent a lot of time talking to a lot of different attorneys, talking through different legal scenarios. This one of someone suing the governor didn't come up, though. No, we left off with them saying Disney's best avenue was to sue over the First Amendment or for a bondholder to sue for a contract violation. The attorney behind this lawsuit says he has a great case, but others aren't so sure. Sergeant, please secure the chamber. When the Florida legislature voted to end Disney's 55-year-old tax district, Reedy Creek, many people expected a legal fight. Would the mouse snap back at the elephants in Tallahassee or would the billion-dollar bondholders strike first? Turns out it was neither. We do this in order to make sure all Florida taxpayers are represented in this battle, that we have a seat at the table and we're not just waiting back to see what the government and large corporations decide to do. That's Miami-based attorney William Sanchez, who we should mention is a Democrat running for Senate in November. Sanchez filed a suit naming three friends living in Orange and Osceola counties as plaintiffs. He's arguing the state violated Disney's First Amendment rights and the rights of taxpayers by potentially dumping a private company's debt into their laps. Florida has in its statutes a Taxpayer Bill of Rights, which lays out the rights of each taxpayer to protect themselves. He says his case is strong, but other lawyers specializing in government law aren't as confident. One telling WFTV Sanchez is stretching protections that courts give to one or two taxpayers at a time to fit entire counties or everyone in Florida. The attorney wondered why the case was filed in federal court, where taxpayers have fewer rights than in state courts. Why file it in federal court? Why not state court, where taxpayers have a little bit more leeway in these types? That's a great question. Most of the state court judges are elected and unfortunately I will say this many of the elected judges have to go out and raise money and um, I'd rather go in front of a federal court judge that was appointed by president and confirmed by the Senate. Last week we sat down with attorney Jacob Schumer to talk about the legal road ahead. Even if Disney chooses to work things out quietly, he says he expects at least one Reedy Creek bondholder to sue. That's because Reedy Creek's own charter says it can't be interfered with while the district owes someone money. And it's very possible that someone could have a bone to pick with Florida's leadership. Schumer says in that case, they could easily find solid grounds to stand on. One thing about these government bonds is that they're tradable like stocks. So anybody could just buy one and then sue because their rights were affected by this law. And Nick, you emailed the governor's office this afternoon. What was the response there? Well, like a lot of agencies, they don't respond to ongoing lawsuits specifically, but a spokesman did tell me they are weighing all legal implications. He reiterated DeSantis had a plan that ensures taxpayers won't suffer any consequences because of what's happened over the last couple of weeks. Live in Orange County, Nick Papantonis, WFTV Tonight.